Good afternoon. My name is Marjorie Linton, and I am an ordained minister of religion, author, motivational speaker, and a spiritual advisor with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. Please join me now as I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and to lift your vision higher. God is mightier than circumstances, is my thought for today. Life happens, my friends. And as long as we are alive, we will experience challenges. Genesis 8.22 says, While the earth remaineth, see the time and harvest, and the cold and the heat, and the summer and winter, and day and night, shall not cease. Amen. Our experiences are all a part of the process, my friends. So when things go wrong in our lives, do not sigh or fret. God knows the way we take. He can and he will turn any difficult situation around into a blessing. He is mightier than circumstances. So, just go with the flow, my friends, and trust God. He is working it out for you today. The truth is, God is the essence of everything. He is the only presence and the only power in our lives and in the world. And He is all good. Philippians 4 verse 28 says, All things work together for good to those who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. And God has a purpose for us who love him, my friends. He can and he will turn any situation, sickness, ill health, and even times of adversity around into a blessing. So have no fear, my friends, when adversity strikes. God is mightier than circumstances. In our humanity, there is always something to heal, mend, or demonstrate. But it is all good. The difficulty we face is God's way of drawing us closer to him. James 1, 2 to 4 says, Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. So, the bottom line, my friends, is all things work together for good. God is working his purpose out and all is well. God never fails to turn things around into a blessing when we trust him. During the crucifixion, Jesus proved that God is mightier than circumstances when he overcame death. He suffered agonizing conditions, but it was all for a purpose. It was all good. He seemed to have failed when he stood dumb before Pilate. But had he not seemed to have failed, there would never have been the grand demonstration of the resurrection later on. Praise be to God. 
So trust God, my beloved friends, during your challenges. God is mightier than circumstances. He does not make mistakes. Just trust the process and keep on praying. Be patient. Your healing will unfold at the right time and in the most perfect way. Circumstances will change for the better, my friends. If the darkness appears in your life, just know that the darkness serves a purpose. Do not be afraid of it. It is only calling you into a higher expression of yourself. Only focus your attention on the presence and the power of God within you. And the light of truth will be revealed. The first thing to do to free yourself from difficulties is to acknowledge the difficulties, but see them powerless. Do not ignore the symptoms. They are there to help you move along to a higher consciousness. So acknowledge the pain the sickness and the challenge, but know that it has absolutely no power over you. By affirming that there is only one power and one presence in your life, God the good omnipotent. There is no other power, my friends. Author Paul Farini, in his book, The Silence of the Heart, says, the greatest block to spiritual awakening is the pretension that there is no suffering in your life, that you have no pain. If you don't feel pain in your life, you are either awakened or you are in denial, he says. Let the pain come forth so that you may be cleansed and purified. Amen. God is absolute and unchanging good my friends john 1 45 says in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shineth in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not amen in the first book of genesis there was darkness upon the earth, but God separated the light from the darkness by calling forth the light. Let there be light, he said. And there was light. Darkness and light cannot coexist, my friends. And healing cannot be realized when the focus is on both sickness and health. At the same time, as co-creators with God, we have the power to separate the darkness from the light or to call forth healing to any negative situation. Let go thoughts of negation, lack, ill health and disease, my friends, and concentrate on God and on God alone. He is mightier than circumstances. There must be a letting go of the lesser self in order for the higher self to unfold. John 12, 24 says, Except a grain of wheat fall into the earth and die, it abideth by itself alone. But if it die, it beareth much fruit. So bury that belief in sickness or negation, my friends. Let go and hand it all over to God. We may experience ill health, sickness, or disease, the pain and limitation in our humanity. But God sees us in his perfect image and likeness, whole and complete. God sees only good, my friends. 
Psalm 139 verse 12 says, The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. And Habakkuk 1 verse 13 says, God's eyes are too pure to behold evil. Amen. The way to experience the light of God is to look beyond outer appearances to the truth which lies within us. Having the consciousness of divine presence within is the answer to all healing. In Matthew chapter 17, when Jesus went to the Mount of Transfiguration with Peter, James, and John, the other disciples who were left behind were unable to heal a lunatic boy on their own. When they asked Jesus why, he told them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. To pray and fast, my friends, is to deny negation or the appearance of ill health and affirm health and wholeness through the mighty healing power of God. It can only be done in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. The presence of God is within us as a mighty healing stream. It is a perfection in all things. The eye within us is forever within, and it cannot be sick, limited, or afraid. The eye within us cannot die. It is eternal. It is the living spirit of God, my friends. When there is a conscious realization of the presence and the power of God within us, we will be able to handle any situation that confronts us with ease. The presence of God, my friends, within us is the answer to every need, every desire, and every heartache. Actually, there is really nothing to heal, only the power and the presence of God to be revealed. Healing is not about changing conditions. It is about changing awareness. When awareness changes, conditions will also change. We begin the healing process, my friends, by acknowledging God in all things. And knowing that there is no separation between God and us. Healing of life's challenges is realized by accepting without fighting, knowing without doubting, and acknowledging God's presence in the midst of the challenges. The Apostle Paul exemplified this kind of healing even when his prayers for healing seemed futile. Although at the physical level, Paul seemed adversely challenged, yet at a deeper level, he used it as a stepping stone to rise higher in consciousness. Paul knew, regardless of the appearances, that God was working his purpose out. And through it all, Paul was able to receive God's grace as his sufficiency. Paul trusted in the divine power of God within him and not in the challenge which confronted him. In his surrender, he was able to see beyond the appearances and he was able to experience a deep sense of his higher self. Whatever your need is today, my friends, God is working it out for you. Don't ever give up. God is always present. When your desire is truly to find him, you certainly will. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all 
your heart. We have whatever it takes right within us, my friends. Jesus told us in Luke 17, 21, neither shall they say, look here or look there, but the kingdom of God is within you. Acquaint yourself with the higher power, my friends, and let go of human might and power. Wait on the Lord in the silence. Listen intensely and divine healing and inspiration will flow profusely. Trust God, my friends. The answer you seek may not necessarily happen the way you envision it. Remember, God is mightier than circumstances. With complete trust in him, learn to wait upon him. In the Old Testament, God used a rod to convince Moses of the power of God he had within him. The rod represents the power of God or the I am presence within us, my friends, which is the answer to all our needs. Amen. Moses used this principle to part the sea and he disabled Pharaoh's attempt to conquer the Israelites. We all have the use of the rod, my friends, the power of the I am to remove obstacles in our lives, casting out demons, healing the sick, and treading on serpents. So, my friends, pay attention to whatever shows up in your life. Mentally fighting it will only give it power, which will deplete your energy. Acknowledge the problem, but deny its ability to overpower you. Use your rod, the higher power within you, to disable all your doubts and fears and cross over to safety. Finally, my friends, just be aware that there is always a blessing in every experience, in every challenge. Just be still. Take time to listen. There is always a higher dynamic at play, an underlying lesson of truth. Amen. And now let us look at some points to contemplate. God is the only power and the only presence in our lives and in the universe. If you do not demonstrate healing readily, have no fear. It may be just that God is calling you to a higher place of consciousness. We should never be afraid of the darkness as it serves the purpose of helping to create spiritual awareness. Darkness and light cannot coexist. Likewise, sickness and health cannot coexist. There must be a letting go of the lesser in order for the greater to unfold. The I within us cannot be sick, limited, or afraid. The I within us cannot die. It is eternal. It is the living spirit of God. There is nothing to heal or demonstrate. Only the presence of God to be revealed. Healing is not about changing conditions. 
it is about changing awareness. When awareness changes, conditions will also change. We begin the healing process by acknowledging there is no separation between us and the divine presence. True healing is realized by accepting without fighting, knowing without doubting, and acknowledging God in the challenge. There is a blessing in every challenge. Just be still and know. Amen. And now, please join me for our call to action. The power of God is within you, my friends. It is mighty to heal, prosper, and bless any condition or circumstances in your life. Just take a deep breath now and feel the Spirit of God in every part of your being. You are made of the very substance of God. Connect now with the power of God within you and meet difficulties with confidence. God is the life of your body, the intelligence of your mind, and the fulfillment of your heart. Divine mind is the field of infinite potential. It is all good within you and everywhere equally present. It is the source of all that there is. Open your heart now to experience the abundance of God's love, free and unlimited. Acknowledge the power of God within you right where you are, and you are uplifted and blessed. All your activities are in order, and all your needs are met. Thank you, God. Amen. It was with the joy of the Lord that I shared healing thoughts today with you, my friends. I hope you have been blessed. This episode includes excerpts from my Editor's Choice Award book, Healing Thoughts, available online. Please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you.